How old are you, Mia? Five years old? Wow. My name is Juan Robles. Can you turn your head that way? I'm a fourth year medical student at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. I was born in Honduras. Uh, this is a Central American country uh, bordered by other countries like uh, Guatemala, El Salvador, and kind of close to Mexico too. Before my mom came to the United States, we lived uh, in a small port town um, called Tela, which is beautiful. And she had a small business there. She, we, were, we were growing up there very nicely. Um, but then economically, she was starting to have a little bit of trouble. Uh, and she decided to move to the United States. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't come with her. So during those five years, uh, we live with our godmother in the farm. So I have one brother, younger brother, my two sisters. We all had something to do. For example, my job in the farm was to like milk you know, the cows in the morning and then go to school. And that was actually, we were done by six o'clock in the morning, we were done already milking the cows. So that, that's the kind of life I had there before coming to the Bronx. And then suddenly, you know, after five years, you know, my mom was able to, to get you know, paperwork for us to come to the United States. My brothers and sisters and I, we were like, we didn't know anything, not a single word in English. And this day, my mom takes us to a high school, or junior high school, I'm sorry, uh, where people are speaking a different language. Fortunately, though, there was a lot of students from other countries. We were registered in a school that had a, a ESL programs, or English as a second language for students. But then outside the classroom, when you go to the street, when you go have a break, we're, we had in, to interact with other students who spoke only English. And there's such a thing about not being able to communicate with someone like or, orally that is, it's very uncomfortable. And I told my mom one morning, I don't want to go back to school. And this was at the age of 13, imagine that. And she's like, no way, <laughs> you're not gonna, you know, you gotta go back to school. And um, those, the teachers were really, you know, really encouraged me to pursue, to encourage me to continue working hard. For some reason, they saw something in me that I didn't see either. And they thought that I was gonna do really well. And in fact, I ended up doing really, really well in my high school. Um, after four years, I ended up being the valedictorian. After I graduated from high school, I actually got accepted to Cornell University. I applied to medical school and I did not get in. I decided instead to pursue um, a master's degree in biology and I did that. Right after that, I also became a teacher and I uh, taught biology here in the Bronx and also in the Washington Heights area. Um, I reapplied to um, to medical school after I took the MCAT a second time, which I did very well, um, and I apply to Einstein. It was an email from Noreen Kerrigan uh, from the Office of Admissions. I, I call Noreen, this is Juan, I just received an email saying that I've been accepted to the medical school. I just want to confirm that this is correct. And she's like, yes Juan, you, this is correct. Um, you are, you are more than welcome to come to, with us. <laughs> And I reply back I, and accepted the medical school. And that's it. <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> the physician as an individual. My colleagues, my medical student friends and, and co-workers, they're amazing. And that's probably what makes Albert Einstein College of Medicine such a unique place, is, is the students that come here. We spend a lot of time together during the first two years of medical school in the classrooms. And then when we are doing rotations in the hospital, we, are, we don't see everyone most of the time, but we work in smaller groups and it's a delight. Really, it is a delight working with very smart, bright individuals with uh, passion for, for caring for others. There is no competition at all. I feel like I can ask them anything I want and feel comfortable in that sense. All right, Mia. How you doing? You okay? I decided to do family medicine. The need for comprehensive care here in the Bronx is, is great. Look inside your mouth now, okay? What I see myself doing, um, if, I decide, if I could stay here in the Bronx, is 
being a doctor obviously helping people individually but also make, making a bigger influence in the community as a whole. I think doctors can do more in terms of volunteering in organizations here, becoming involved with the political system to make broader changes. I envision myself doing that and hopefully maybe as part of the Montefiore system of clinics or having my own clinic. That's something I haven't decided yet, but I, I have those kind of ideas rolling in my head already and we'll see what, how, how far I can take that.